Tree of Life has been going for a long time now. It started in the late 60s with our owners, the Borthwicks, finding spirituality in the subcontinent in India and Bangladesh and Pakistan. And they started to import, you know, boho southern Indian clothing or Indian clothing. Eventually they found that they loved it so much and they didn't want to be wholesalers anymore. So they started opening stores and eventually grew to the 45 stores around Australia that we've got now. Our mission is to be the best boho retail experience that we can be. There was a lot of pain points around um, VPN services about actually getting things to and from stores in terms of a, you know data and that kind of stuff. You know we relied on servers that were unreliable and um, communication system. So we're liberating customers from the constraints of their existing IT. If you look at the uh, most companies, 80% of their IT spend is on keeping the lights on, keeping the servers going and so on and so forth. And 20% is for innovation. What we look to do is liberate them so that they can reduce the amount of uh, spend they've got from 80% to 60%, thereby doubling the amount that they've got for uh, innovation. So they go from 20% to 40%. Retail in bricks and mortars and an e-commerce in Confluence is very powerful and having the ability to have customers in store, online and then a combination of the both is where we're going and how we want to run Tree of Life into the future. When it came time to choose a cloud provider, NetSuite was the clear way to go. Tree of Life's original brief was um uh, they had 50 odd stores, I think they, they do across New South Wales and Queensland. And the problem that they had was really getting information into a central uh, place so that they could then see, well, what's selling well in a particular uh, store, how can we replenish stock, so if a store in Ballina in Queensland is suddenly selling a lot of kaftans or uh, specific uh, rugs or whatever, we can see that trend and then react accordingly. NetSuite will allow you to go through that whole e-commerce journey from putting stuff into your shopping basket, uh, ordering it online, and then also uh, being able to log on and check the progress of that order. And of course that then reflects into the NetSuite instance which then allows you to go through whatever fulfillment process you have, ultimately get that to the customer. We've really doubled down into NetSuite, I'd say. We have our customer management in NetSuite, we have our warehousing in management in NetSuite, we have our point of sale in NetSuite and our e-commerce in NetSuite. There's very little that we don't do in NetSuite and we find that having that data flow between the different areas of our business is very important, both in how we do all of our reporting, how we do our selling and eventually how we get the products to the customer, which is the most important thing. The funny thing about us is we've been in the cloud and online with Fronds for almost 10 years now. So we are really at this point trying to get best practice out of all of these cloud experiences that we have, um, figuring out how to make them work for us in the best possible way and making sure that the cloud works for us as much as any ERP can. The reason that we've decided to stay with Frond over the years is the consistent good service, good products, good delivery. We know that when we've got a problem we can call them up or you know, lodge a case and they will come back to us quickly and efficiently and give us a solution to our problem or give us ways that we can develop a solution to our problem.